so good morning one and all my name is manas best and today i'm going to show you one 8085 simulator so without further ado here i go uh, not this one actually sim 8085.com this is one of the best simulator i have found yet and you can do the normal assembly coding here uh, let me give you an example first of all Right in our college, like in our college, we used to define address. The like the address used to come here, the left side, and then we used to give the command. Here it is not having the system of giving address, but rather quoting code line by line. Let me show you how. So first of all, I'm going to make a program to swap two numbers. This this is my address. Okay, so like. If I am referring to this memory, this is this memory address is this. Okay, now let me just zoom it out. This one I am talking about. So let's just start. First of all, let's make an assembly code and provide. First of all, I am going to provide values to some memory location. So first of all, here I will provide for now zero four. So memory location. Triple zero two has value zero four, and then this <coughs> memory location triple zero four has value zero six. Uh, okay, let's just keep this in mind. And these are the registers here. This is our accumulator. This is DC register, DE register, and HL register. We are going to see how these things work. So first of all, let's start by loading the value to accumulator. The address for now will be triple zero two, since it holds zero four value. Now the value will be loaded to accumulator, and then what I needed to move this to B address. Okay, not B address actually. Sorry, B register. So move B comma A. With this, our value, our Value which was stored in accumulator will be moved to B, and then now I will load another value into the accumulator that is triple zero four. This value triple zero four. Okay, so now my accumulator is having zero six, and my B register is having zero four. Hmm. Now let's just transfer it back. So STA equal to if I'm not wrong here. Zero 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 two. Yeah. STA means store the accumulator value in this address, which means right now accumulator is having the zero six and it will be stored in here. Now move B value to accumulator. And then STA zero 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 four, and we will end this program with HLT. For doing comments, I can put a semicolon here and put like program to swap two blocks. So I will now compile it, and you can see here. The code is compiled successfully, and we can also check the memory here, but it's not required for now. Now let's just verify it. We have to focus on this thing, this, and this. Okay. So there are two ways. First, you can run a program directly. The whole program will be executed directly, and second, you can run it one by one. I prefer this because it let it let me see, it let me observe the registers and memory, like what is going on in every. Instruction set. So let's begin. First of all, LDA zero zero two, which means that the accumulator value, sorry, which means the address this value is holding. This value will be passed to this accumulator, which means this value will be up updated. So as soon as I go ahead, see the zero four has been loaded to accumulator. Hence, we are verified here. Now move. Accumulator value to B register, which means zero four will be moved to here. Okay, so next step, yes, 
the B register has been updated to 04. Now load accumulator 004. Now accumulator will be loaded with this value. 004 address having this value. Let's see it. Okay. Now the accumulator is having 06. And if we move to next step, STA. STA means that accumulator's value will be stored to this address. That is here. So right now accumulator is having 06, which means 06 will be stored here. Let's see. Yes, 06 has been stored here and accumulator is still having 06. Next step, move value of value in register B to value in register A. For this, we can see like B register is having 04. So it will be moved to accumulator from here to here. So let's verify it. Yes, accumulator is updated. And at the last step, STA 004, which means load accumulator value or store accumulator value to this particular address, which means here. So 04, which is accumulator currently holding, which is stored, which will be stored to here. 04. And then our HLT. And here our memory blocks have been swapped. This is how we can use this website to practice our simulation. Now I will recompile it and run it at once. So remember 0604 and as soon as I run it at once, it's upgraded. It's updated. Although I wouldn't recommend it to use this because it is important to understand the workflow of the program. We can we can also you do many programs here such as if I want. Let's try to make a loop here. OK, so we will try to maintain a counter which will which will be updated in this register. So I will take C as a counter here. The B register shows this value and the C register shows this value, which means whichever value we are transferring to the register will be shown here like for B it will be here and for C it will be here similarly for D it will be here here and for E it will be here and similarly for H so now I'm trying I will be trying to create a loop here for this I need a direct memory transfer so I will pass value in C that is 0, 04. <coughs> now the register will be decremented every time and Z and J and Z to check if the program is 0 or not. Now here comes the here comes the twist here because in in our college simulator Usually we used to put the address here, which currently executed this command. Uh, this one, yeah, which currently executed this, this command. But right now we are not having those addresses. So what we can do alternatively, we can create a label here. You can name label anything. For now, I will be naming it for us. Colon is important. As soon as I declare colon here, it it will the program will know that this is labeled and for ZNC I can pass a label instead of address now as soon as I compile it uh, okay the compile it is compiled successfully now we will just focus on register here the C register which is holding this value okay for now I will clear all the registers uh, I guess I can clear it yeah okay so we will be focusing on here. First run. Uh, what? Okay. First run. C register got value zero four. Okay. Now second run. It is decremented to three. Third run. It is decremented to two. Note, JNG uh, JN said is still running because the C the value of C is not zero yet then one 
and then zero <coughs> and now it executes hrt this is how we can practice our simulations easily we can also check for flags here if we want to and after the execution of whole program we can just change all the values back to normal like reset it now i will be not writing another code but i can show you one of the code which i made yesterday and it is to exchange a block set of blocks this is the block here this is the code here okay so as you can see this code will help me to exchange cer certain blocks okay swap certain blocks of memory so it is starting from zero like this it is starting from this address and second will be will be starting from this zero zero one ten it will be this one okay no it will not be this one but this one since a represent 10 so let's just quickly update these values uh, 0 1 0 2 0 2 3 3 4 <coughs> I will clear it for now okay since our counter will be 4 so it will be traversing through these memory address four times like one two three four so like four three two one and as soon as it will be zero it will pass halt and for the second memory address zero zero ten which is this one so i will pass here five six seven eight now i would like to i would be happy to show you to execute this one by one but right now i think video has been 12 minutes late okay i shouldn't wait waste any time longer so i will directly execute it so right now the blocks are having one two three four and this one is having five six seven eight as soon as i compile it and okay Ah, fine, fine, okay. As soon as I compile it, okay, it's compiled, and now just focus on here. Hmm. And run it. See, all the memory blocks have been swapped, which means we can very well perform all almost all the instructions here. See. A back label is used here, and then Z and Z is passed with back label. So, if the if the counter C is not having <coughs> is not having zero as the value, it will move to here and re rerun the whole block of code until and unless it gets zero. Here, the H registers and D registers store these addresses, and these addresses are incremented while the counter is decremented so this is the site sim8085.com and you can practice it very well and thank you so much